the best existence theory on the planet. You are an 11 dimensional entity. Not that vessel you are using, no. Focus on your core, that is your center, where you always exist. More on that later. An entity is like a combustion engine. It needs a supply of fuel. The fuel we need is love. We can get it from others. We can get it from God, our mother and father. We can get it from source. The one love is the fuel to our engine. We grow with love. This is the symbiotic quality found throughout the universe, like the presence of water for planet Earth, blood in the body, sap in the tree. Two other qualities present throughout existence are dualism and fractal. Fractal involves looking at subject at different levels like looking at the earth from eye level to bird's eye level will give a different view of the same thing. Continue to zoom out and a new picture is revealed, each one a new level. Dualism can be stable or volatile or somewhere in between. Magnetism, for example, protects planet Earth from too much radiation from the Sun. But its volatility is what causes solar eruptions to shoot towards Earth in the first place. As with your own mind, has two separate voices. Confusion on a subject will cause the two to disagree and argue. There may be a clear winner, and stability will ensue. Otherwise, the cloud of confusion will remain on that particular subject. What is a dimension? A lot of people think by saying fourth dimensional or fifth is adding a whole new realm, which it isn't. Height, one dimension is just a line. Add width, two dimensions, this piece of paper. Add depth, three dimensions, now we're talking. We can wander around, up and down, but not backwards in time. Time is a constant. It started with the creation of a universe. More on that later. Time is one of the eleven dimensions. So that's four. So what are the other seven? There are three more in the realm of sleep and where we continue to exist a while after death. Then there is one more realm, another three dimensions. This is the dominant realm. We experience this realm as emotions. It's the only one we experience in our true universal level. Before I explain what that is, we have one dimension left. Truth. Truth is a dimension. It is a foundation, paired with time. They are the unbending constants in every universe, the parallel lines to infinity. This eleven-dimensional theory is very neatly displayed in the mathematics of base 10 and geometry. The nine numbers arranged in a circle with nine at the top, the three and six at each bottom corner forming a triangle with the nine. The key to this is to double the numbers and reduce to a single digit and see what you get. Keep doubling 9 always reduces to 9. Keep doubling 3 or 6 and you get 3s and 6s only. 
keep doubling any of the other numbers and a pattern is repeated over and over. 1, 2, 4, 8, 7, 5, 1, 2, 4, 8, 7, 5, 1, 2, 4, 8, 7, 5. That is the infinity symbol, indicating the two dimensions of time and truth. The 3 and 6 are the physical and spiritual realms, and the 9, as I've said, the dominant emotional realm. You see, this universe in which I am writing is owned by, if you like, our mother and father gods, mother and father god. The Milky Way galaxy, though, is our mother and father god, or just the physical realm that we can see. There is also the spiritual realm of our mother and father and the dominant emotional realm. Now, our grandmother and grandfather God has a galaxy in a higher universe. We have a galaxy in a lower universe, the universe of our mother and father. The entrance to that universe is a portal at the centre of the Milky Way. There are a hundred billion galaxies there, but they are ten billion years younger than the Milky Way. They might be no more than a few stars. They won't have a portal at the centre to a younger universe for another six billion years. And that's it, folks. How many generations go back? When did it all begin? I don't know, or want to know. <laughs> it exists. I imagine over hundreds of billion years will become more and more like the one love to be indistinguishable.